Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we did a bit more um, part-time hero stuff. And this time we're going to continue the story until we unlock two more major features, which will also allow us to do pretty much all the sub-stories for the chapter. There's one that's more of like it opens because of another thing opening, but you can't really do it now. Unless you really grind hard, which depend that really depends, but I probably won't yet. Basically, it requires a lot of money. And there is a thing coming up that will get us a lot of money. It's going to be this random encounter. No, it's not. Mystery meets. I don't like mystery meets. He resists physical. Oh, I thought you barely couldn't finish him. Oh yeah, we ended off the video getting some pretty good weapon upgrades. Sadly, we still don't really have a source of, like, particularly good armor the way we have good weapons. Other than, like, you know, doing... Ooh. Oh, the follow-ups can still inflict the status ailments. That's cool. Let's go. Okay, I don't know if it's related to the other system. Also, if the game is still laggy, I can't really do anything about it anymore. I've turned it down a bit. Hmm. This isn't exactly what I pictured. The image I've always had of Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy, like Chinatown. Shut it, cheap on. Huh? You moron. Huh? Whoa, what crawled up your asses all of a sudden? Don't even mention Chinatown around here. Huh? The Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attack attraction on the other side of the station. The people living here are the people once who got driven out of that area a long time ago. <sighs> so you're saying there was a turf war in Chinatown? What are they, Yakuza? Okay. The truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown was still raking it in, while the Chinese living here were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic, they felt they deserved to be in on the action, even if they had to take it by force. But that didn't exactly work out. The grudge has simmered for all those years, and to this day, it's the backbone of the Yokohama Leo Mong. Wow. Jeez. The people living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got run out of Chinatown. They lost the war, but they had nowhere to go. So talking like a dumbass is going to make even the Commonwealth glare at you, not to mention the Leo Mong. Okay. I get it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Just remember, we're on Leo Mong turf now. Don't let on that we're trying to catch Mabuchi. Start with some small talks so nobody gets suspicious. Then when you see the opportunity to ask about Mabuchi, go for it. Got Clear? it. Clear? Okay. Long distribution is still close to us, I'm pretty sure. I feel like the game will be pretty... Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes? What is it you want? Yeah, the game will be pretty clear when it's unlocked. <laughs> wow, this town's so scenic. Scenic? Yeah, the buildings have that old school feel to them. I bet I could get some pretty sweet pics. Not to be rude, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. You start wandering around restaurant row with a camera. Is it... is that bad? He's saying someone rough might pop out? And by that you wouldn't happen to mean the Yokohama Liamong. Hey, wait! Good job, Ichiban. Yes, we know your back is killing you. Hey! Good evening! My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> right? Working out every day pays off. You gotta be tough in my line of work. Why is he a rude resident? So you, uh, work behind the scenes? Yeah, that's right. But if you're in Restaurant Row, that would mean you're... 
Leave. I'm a theater stagehand. People think working backstage is easy, but you gotta be pretty fit to do all that heavy lifting. Dang. I was gonna guess you were Leo Mong. Sorry? This is the Yokohama Leo Mong's turf, isn't it? Would you happen to know where their boss, boss Mabuchi is? Go home, man. Hey, hold on. That guy wasn't rude in the slightest. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, so which one's better? Bean paste buns or steamed buns? Steamed buns. Okay, what about steamed buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns. <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit filling, would you choose melon or Liu Mango? <laughs> Liu Mango, really? Aichi Uh, Liu Mango? I mean, you have to have heard of the Yokohama Liu Mong, right? Well, I mean, this man is weird. <sighs> Ichiban? <laughs> Damn. Damn it. Forget Mabuchi. They won't even talk about the Leo Mong. That's just how loyal they are, I guess. Uh, Don't feel like we're going to get to Mabuchi at this rate. Don't throw in the towel yet, man. We barely even started asking around. Hold on. Well, maybe not the results we wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. Also, the Chapter 4 completion achievement was called Soap on a Rope. Mm -hmm. Leo Mong. Yeah, no doubt about it. Listen. You might want to get back. Far back. Why? What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey! Oh, because I'm a woman it's dangerous? That's how it is? Don't need to tear me a new one. Do what you no. will. You're the Japanese one sniffing around for the Leo Mong? What do you mean? You just wanted some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? <sighs> no. You got the wrong people. We had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> He's right. We just wanted to find a good spot to get some grub. Well, shall we get back on the hunt? Hey. Come on, let's go. Eh. They aren't going to let us sleep. May as well drop the act. I apologize for the noise. Huh? Why are you snooping around for us? Tell me straight. Okay. Fine. I'm an honest guy, so I'll level with you. The owner of the soapland I was working at got killed. It sounds like your boss, Mabuchi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> no? At least it saves us the trouble of asking around, doesn't it? This again. Uh, give me a break. So that's what you're after. Hey. If that's the reaction we're getting, I'd say Mabuchi's looking more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Guys, is this really the time for that? Hey. Don't be quiet. I was ready for this ages ago. You gonna man up or what? Ugh, scary. Yeah. Hey, call up the guy at Plum Garden. Tell him to sharpen his knives for a skinning. Once he tear their filthy skins off, use them for manju. Oh, human manju. So creative. It's the way of the Liu Mong to skin our victims alive. Don't worry, you black out and forget the pain pretty quick. <laughs> Hell of a threat. Now come on! Okay. Oh wait, right, only... Ichiban can do that. Alright, let's... Okay, we are absolutely going to be overkilling. But... Eh. Let's call... Tosanoyama. Just hate, just hate, just hate! Uh, 
not as much of an overkill as I was expecting. I'm noticing a problem that Nanba is the only one who can actually do any form of magic or elemental damage. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Talk. If you're gonna kill me, get it over with. What? You won't find a single Leovang soft enough to give up our brothers because of a little pressure. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit. Yo. Cut it out. Damn. Man, not a single one talked. Talk about being faithful. Yeah, because I could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah, when people hit rock bottom, loyalty's all you've got left sometimes. Hey. Yes, it's all very impressive, but how are we gonna find Mabuchi now? Hmm, they don't even come out in public and won't talk when we do cash them. Huh. It's too bad there's not some scrubby Leo Wong who's not really feeling the gangster thing who'd betray them at a, the drop of a hat. Hmm? I can think of one. <laughs> there is one scrubby Leomong who's not into it. Remember that guy who tried to shake us down? Oh, Zhang. That's right, he's a Leomong too. Who's Zhang? Friend of yours? Just this asshole who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's greedy as hell. Well, little cash would probably go a long way. So where do we find this Zhang guy? Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could tell you, but... Scalp loser. That's him, all right. Never thought I'd find him this quickly. I've still got it. It was a coincidence, man. Come on, can't you let me have even one thing? Listen. Jing, huh? I don't know. He looked pretty into the job. Don't chug a book by his cover. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packed. Whoa, you can tell that just from looking at him from behind? More or less. Why are you getting all flustered? Go. <laughs> uh, let's just go talk to him. Hmm? A full-on wood block. Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir. Did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. 
And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? <laughs> huh? Huh? We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right, but be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Well, Kasuga's got a point. Let's just wait for her to get in touch. Psycho Makoto left the party. Hey. We might end up having to fight Zhang, so let's be ready for that. Good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the screen. I don't like our odds here. You got anything better? We were broken unemployed until a few days ago. I'd get new shit for everyone if it didn't cost so much damn money. Well, actually, I remember hearing about a factory in the Red Light District with an engineer who's got an eye for that. If we asked him, maybe he'd make us some better stuff. Okay. And it's probably cheaper than just buying new hey. stuff. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we wait for Psycho, then. So remember the, uh, I believe it was called Romance Fact, oh yeah, Romance Workshop, uh, Fast Travel Point we unlocked earlier. Oh, I wonder. See, that's bar. No, this is bartender. I think these are actually hostess weapons. No, it's technically in the commercial district. You were wrong, Adachi. Gosh. Gorge. You it? Um, there's just a bunch of trash piles over here I want to search. Oh, you're telling me there's not even one search point over here? It feels like a ripoff. Oh well. Workshop at Dutch is talking here? about. Hey, excuse me. You need something? Nowhere to go but up. Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. 
Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 Please let me fix it. Just this once, I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah, fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Right? I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting one of the Kamiyama brothers. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me, or this shop. Yeah, well... I don't know about all that, but look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can, and maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rei-chan. You can craft and enhance your weapons and gear at the Romance Workshop. Scavenging the streets for materials and investing in the workshop's amenities will allow you to craft a wider variety of gear. Be sure to take full advantage of the workshop and improve your arsenal. And yes, every default weapon for a class um, is upgradable to its that class's ultimate weapon. Ace the interview. I'm about to start serving customers, so you guys can swing by when you're ready. I'll make sure you get in if you name drop me. Got it. Okay. Though so there's usually like some slight little trade-off. Oh. Look, there's some shepherd's purse here. Shepherd's purse? It's a weed. It's pretty good when you boil it up and put it into a broth. You can get fish mint, vetch, and mugwort from this part of town too. Wow, you know your weeds, huh, Namba? Well, I didn't learn it overnight. 
nearly killed myself a couple times. Still, I got better at telling which was which over time. Now I've got a pretty good idea of things. The more dangerous they look, the better the taste. You know, the first guy to eat sea urchin must have been a little something like you. That's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's usually some trade-off, like again, if we look at the semi-ultimate pouch for the hostess class, um, it does magic damage as opposed to physical damage. I don't think the ultimate does. Uh, craft with romance at the workshop. I'll be able to craft, blah, blah, blah. As the saying goes, iron sharpens iron. Again, I don't think that's quite a saying. Let's see what else we can work on. And actually, if that's still an upgrade from the purchased one. Self-proclaimed hero's bat plus one. A bat that Casca is thoroughly convinced only a hero can wield. Yeah, still not better than what you can buy, but if you've been coasting by on your defaults, it's something. Hey, Kasuga-san. What well, brings you in today? So you can also make weapons from default, or from nothing. So, like, I can make the Flaming Lumber, um, which is fire boost, and it's also just way better. Thundercrack, electric boost. Um, facility rank is not high enough for this, and I also don't have enough refined and sturdy iron as well as high density metal. Uh, there's a poison cane. This is what bugs are used for. Icy traffic wand. Boost damage done by cold type attacks, but it doesn't do cold. Oh, yeah, it actually does. Never mind, because the element is right there. Huh. Gloves. Fascination bag. Chance to apply charm. So yeah, you actually have a lot of options here. <laughs> Poison cane requires way more moths and spiders than I have. I don't know really how to get those, but wow, that would be a big upgrade. Um, we can even make armor here. A pirate hat. Trick hat. Uh, that would actually be really good for Nanba, that freaking magic boost. Oh god, the nouveau rich. So, oh, it uses two of each golden pug. <laughs> Nova Rich um, were an enemy type in most of the Yakuza games. Um, I think in 5 and 6 they were changed to Rich Bastard, but they would wear like golden suits and stuff. It's so stupid. I love it. Semidine Super X needed for the Protector. Mirage Coat. Oh. Oh, that's 100,000 yen, though. Holy crap. Cyber armor. Spectrum gown. Yeah, you get some straight-up freaking Dragon Quest crap in these games. Um, another strengthened weapon. Uh, certain weapons can be plus one, plus two, plus three, etc. Specifically, these default. Actually, not even specifically the defaults, it looks like. Yeah, let's upgrade the self-proclaimed nice, hero's bat. Nice, nice. Um, I need Cal Attack Zero, which appears to be a spray bottle of some sort. <laughs> what the heck? But then if we upgrade that, we get the hero's bat. This bar the barbed wire has been removed from this bat, thus drawing out its original powers. A worthy weapon for a true hero. 
Um, we don't have the ultimate musician weapon, so we might as well upgrade the vintage guitar and actually show this particular animation. Pretty good. Need more quality lumber for that. I think we have a better um, alcohol bottle, but uh, bring that up as high as I can. Need Semadine Super X and Facility Level 2 to get that, which is Reserve a Magnum, an aged wine brimming with gravitas in both taste and presentation. And then if funds support, you can just invest money to level it up. You should shoot the shit more often, Kaskasan. Okay, let's chat. Sumer Chan, can we talk for a sec? Yep. Sure, what's up? Say, you're a fan of bonsai, right? <laughs> totally. I love all the neat little details about them. You into them too? I bet she'd be super happy if I got her a bonsai. I don't have any on me. Either I get the barkeep to make it, or I look for a shop that sells it. Uh, hmm. Killing me. <laughs> well, let's continue. Yeah, we need to do 10 vocational school things on t to um, actually be able to do one of the sub-stories <laughs> for an idea of why I'm avoiding that. It's like, if I look at weapons. Table sparkling 2. I don't know what class that's for, actually, because that's, I mean, obviously that's not bartender. But yeah, this is the game even harder telling you, hey, upgrade your freaking weapons. You can do that. Also, I just realized I didn't grab that item over there. Whoops. way to be greeted unbelievable every single girl is sexy as hell I mean I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on restaurant row focus guys we gotta find Zhang y'all are friggin turbo virgins hi there nice to meet you are you having a nice evening oh yes <laughs> thank you Ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claimed she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! 
On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sunshine! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shane, son. Ah, oh, come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh, so you want to go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Ah, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Liumar! Get them where they stand! Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them! Yes, yes sir! We got a rematch against Zheng. Cool. Who is making a defensive position. So let's take down one of the others. You can't block magic damage. <laughs> Breaks their defensive stance. If I hit you with this... Okay, that is just an, a straight-up AoE. It's not a charge. The way it said, in the way... Had me unsure. That's just a counter that causes bleeding. What an offensive concern if I didn't need that. Okay. Watch this. You are going on Let's see. Let's go. So he doesn't do anything on his own. Which I mean fits the character. Stared down. Started mad dog Drachi, but he remained unfazed. I assume that was an attempt to enrage. And we take him down. Highest quality lumber. Now 
Don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker. Hey, bring the manager in here. I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Clan turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and jie jie. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. <sighs> wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. <sighs> how what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not going to kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah. It does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles. 
or even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey, guys. What if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Orohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> You mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? <sighs> I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. Yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh... Yeah, an uncomfortable laugh is about right after that one. Alright, let's get home. Hey. Doesn't look like they're going to let us do that. I <sighs> guess we stood out too much. Yo. They've got us slip through somehow. If we can make it to Romance Street, they'll have to be more careful about starting trouble. Got it. Got it. Let's go. That's Ohama Street. I mean, can I just get into a fight? Okay, because there have previously in other games been um, instances where it's like, nope, you have to stealth around them. Mega swing. Nice paralysis.
I guess they specifically made these guys be here to be like, well, you know, there's actual danger here. Ooh. I figure, you know, the paralyzed enemy is basically taken out of commission. <laughs> we can just taxi. Uh... Why is that named for the cabaret if it's, uh, I guess, the cap... Oh, the cabaret is open now, apparently. Yeah? What is it? That's Rose Blossom, a well-known cabaret club around these parts. So this is where it was. Huh. Yeah, it's been damn near forever since I've been inside of one. I think I'm having withdrawals here. You are aware I work at a cabaret club, right? Yeah, but I know you personally. I'd see right through the facade. If you really think I'd put up a facade just for you, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I wouldn't mind seeing your business facade. I don't know. It'd be cool. But enough about that. We'll come back and check this place out, okay? Yeah? You mean it? Uh, I hate to kill the mood, but I'm broke. You think I'd make you pay after inviting you out? I'm not that rude. Sweet! Kasuga, you're a gentleman and a friend. Yeah, well, count me out. There's no way I'm setting foot in a cabaret club on my day off. It'd be way too awkward if I ran into one of my former girls. If anything, I'll go kill time somewhere while you boys enjoy spending your money. Yeah? Uh, thanks, I guess? Woof, can't wait. Oh, I wonder what kind of girls they have. Ooh. We haven't even gotten in the door yet, Adachi-san. safe now <sighs> time to head on back for the evening see you in front of hello work tomorrow hold on who's up for a nightcap in the room wow it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home adachi san this is really nice to see what is how you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Uh, look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But? If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. She manages a hostess club. She's not hurting for money or a place to stay. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijincho. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? 
No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Guys, we're off to hella work, so look alive. Damn, Sachan, you feel totally fine after drinking all that? Really? That was practically a nightcap. For real? Seriously? Wow, you guys are pathetic. Who was the one saying he'd give it his best shot? Hey, yeah. So get it in gear. We're heading to hella work. Uh, sure. If I met a woman who holds her liquor like she can, quite a compliment coming from you. Alright, next time on Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon, we're heading off to a hell of work. See you guys then.